Hey everybody, what's up? Steve here with another update about the new Nintendo Switch. Now, there have been some rumors that the Joy-Con that come with the new Switch are revised in some way, so I thought it would be a good idea to take one of our old Joy-Con, in this case the neon yellow that launched around the same time as ARMS, and the neon red that I got with our new Nintendo Switch today. So we're going to take a look and see if we can find any differences between the original and the new. Uh, so let's go ahead and start by taking a look at the Neon Yellow, which again is the same Joy-Con we all know and love. It's one that came out around the same time as the Switch itself, so this is about, well actually, a, a little under two years old. So if we look at the back, we can see all the identifying information. There's a model number, which is really important, that is HAC016. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just jump straight over to the new Joy-Con here just to confirm that the same model number, HAC016 right there, is uh, the same one. So that kind of tells us initially that if there is a revision, it's not big enough to warrant uh, creating a new model number in their system. And that's pretty important because the Switch itself has some pretty minor uh, updates, and it still has uh, a new model number with a revision at the end, uh, being HAC001-01. Now, we'll go ahead and get a little closer up with both of these here, and you can see that outwardly they're very similar. I purposely chose two Joy-Cons from the right side so that there's no design differences, because as you know, the right Joy-Con has IR cameras on it. Um, you know, we have the home button on these, we have the plus button on these, and, uh, you know, everything's in the same place. SL and SR are exactly the same. Uh, all the buttons feel the same. You've got your Joy-Con release button back here. You've got ZL, or I'm sorry, R and ZR on the, on the tops here. Uh, and in the hand, they feel identical. Um, there's some rumor that Joy-Con drift is solved in this, but when I look at the sticks, I still see that same kind of, and I'm going to try to get as close as I can here to the camera to show it to you too, I see that same rubber cap. And that is estimated to be the reason why Joy-Con drift happens is because these get dirty or get debris under them. I personally haven't experienced Joy-Con drift before, and that's because I have a lot of Joy-Con, so I swap them out constantly, so no one pair of Joy-Con is getting too much use. Uh, so that being said, I decided to actually play with these and test out the wireless functionality to see if maybe there were some under the hood changes similar to what happened with the Switch, and unfortunately, they're exactly the same. I can make them drop out the same at the same distances, I can make them behave strangely at the same distances as they would with the original Switch, uh, so I'm really not seeing anything by way of improvement here, and I'm not seeing any physical difference. I'll be honest, I'm too chicken to actually open these up. Uh, I've done that once before, it took me a long time, and the Joy-Con was never quite the same again. Um, but that said, they feel exactly the same. They're the same weight, same size, they're not heavier, they're not different. Uh, this red Joy-Con feels exactly the way my launch model's red Joy-Con does. Uh, this yellow one, again, is a little different, and I only pulled out a different color for illustration's sake so that I wouldn't have two of the same color here because they are identical, model number and all. Uh, so if you're looking for something that is going to solve your Joy-Con drift problem, unfortunately you're probably going to be waiting a little while longer. That about wraps it up for this quick look at the new Switch's Joy-Con. Uh, if you have any questions about this new Switch model, stay tuned to Game Explained. We are going to have much more coverage as the day progresses and in the days to come. Uh, including battery life tests, download speed tests, and a whole bunch more. As always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to Game Explained for all things Nintendo Switch and other things gaming as well. We'll catch you next time. Bye!